ready. Everybody ready? Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Big duty for the day here. Uh-huh. September 4th, work session, 10 a.m., all members present. John, do you mind coming up here for a minute or more? The other day I did a um, resolution to settle out. Do you want to shut that door, Joe, please? I don't know even if this is executive session on that. I don't know what it's about. That $2,500 tree fee. Um, that would be executive session because it's a litigation matter and it's an agreement that's involving the property, but it's the result okay. of that litigation. All right. Um, today's day. Fourth. That's like I said, too. <laughs> It's hard to believe it's September already. Man. I just want that one note to you take away with you that we need to talk at some point what we're going to do with sidewalks. From 2004 to 2000. 12, and that's not completed, I assume, not completed yet. We spent $16 million specifically on sidewalks. $16 million over eight years, with the 16 maybe being 17. It's truly unsustainable. So we have to come up with some form of a plan how to deal with it instead of just throwing millions of dollars each year. Because once it's over, it begins again. Okay, so just keep that in mind and maybe discuss amongst yourselves what you think we might do, okay? Um, John, yes, the other day I got the resolution that says um, $2,500. Yeah. That was his, that's, his that's on Cox. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's yeah, Okay, we, that was on Cox. And, of course, we have... Um, what about this old dock thing? Is that also executive session? Um... That's a contract. That's it's a contract. We have a concession here, as so I would say, yes, executive session. Another executive that. session matter. You all have the letter from the Lake Grove Village. Yes. Okay. I don't know if that is that executive. No. It's to me personally, um, that development proposal was on the town of Smithtown's side in their property, correct? Come up, Frank. You might as well discuss this. You got a copy of it. My question is, what what the village of um, for the town attorney, the village of Lake Grove, uh, <coughs> as long as they they are well aware of the project, why would we stop on our end because they're asking us to? I don't quite understand that. Why not just proceed, and then if the village has any objections, they can raise it on their own. Before I, before he answers. Uh, why don't you put it in context so people uh, watching just don't know what, you, what that's about? Yeah, well, this is a, it's a proposal for a freestanding restaurant on the Smith Haven Mall property. Um, and apparently it's gone through the entire process, and now it's being uh, stalled out at this present time because there's an objection from the mayor of the village of Lake Grove. My question is, I don't understand if we went through our procedures, and it's acceptable to us why we would be holding up on that development on the Smithtown property, uh, just because they have a concern, let them raise their own concerns. It's on Smithtown side of the mall. I mean, does, my but point is, just, does the village of Lake Grove, when they go to develop something, are they going to hold off and not develop it until such time as the town approves it? One of the things you, you should be aware of is that it's a, this is the, the mall. It's a commercial center. Correct. It's got to go to the planning board for site plan. It's set forth in the code. Correct. So that, as I understand, for tomorrow, so that's one thing. But Frank and I had had discussions about that. Um, um, the question is, should the site plan process for town be held up because of what the village of Lake Grove might require? And as I had discussed with Frank, my my impression is, that, and I think I, I know I'm correct, is that um, we shouldn't hold it up. If there's any approvals that have to be obtained by the applicant from the village of Lake Grove, it's their responsibility. Correct. The question is. Ultimately, you can't get a building permit without site plan approval, without health department approval. And as you know, the village of Lake Grove, the 
sewer treatment plant is in the village of Lake Rome. Correct. It's owned by Simon and monitored or overseen by the county health department. So what I would discuss with Frank is first the town board can approve the site plan. Second, the applicant knows they have to go to the village of Lake Grove and take care of whatever they might have to do with respect to if they're going to expand the facility. They have to get health department approval to do that. And the building department is not going to issue a building permit until they have everything in place. So I have said, and, and, and I was told Frank Our this, building department? <coughs> correct. Correct. So because the last, no point, the last no. step is a building permit issue. And so nothing, the building permit cannot be issued until they have all the ducks in order which means any pools in the village of Lake Grove. But I don't want the town of Smithtown to start setting up a policy, which was what it would be, to say we're going to sit on this or make it a condition that you have to get the village of approvals. That's kind of like saying, putting a condition that you comply with all applicable provisions of the town law and the town code. You're obligated to do that. Right. And that's so, my point. That, that's exactly to the point. And the, the village of Lake Grove certainly can appear at that planning board here. And they had the opportunity. They were noticed. And Correct. I think they did. Well, could I give a little point on this, I think it's very important. When we did the last expansion, which was the Cheesecake Factory, the Dicks, and all of those, that was an integral part of the review process. In other words, the village of Lake Grove this, be objected to that development that was occurring because they felt that the sewage treatment plant at that particular time could not handle that particular arrangement. What we did was work with the village and ask the applicant to make sure before we approved all of those developments that they had satisfied the villages to the capacity of their sewage treatment plant in terms of what they could offer. Now there are two separate issues with regard to the Bahama Breeze. One is regard to what's on our side which is the waiver of the parking and that with the town attorney and I are basically in agreement on is that's entirely within the town of Smithtown's jurisdiction. What I don't want to happen is what we go through and get an approval on this, and then the village decides that they are not going to connect on to their sewage treatment plant. What I had recommended, which was I recommended the last time was, before we get this approval, and I had asked the applicant before they submitted their site plan to uh, application to do this was make sure you get approval for the village to that you're allowed to expand onto that sewage <coughs> treatment plant. Otherwise, <coughs> I don't see why, you know, we should have a conflict between two jurisdictions. Now, the applicant is maintaining, and it's correct, that Suffolk County Health Department determines what the capacity is of the plant. But the village of Lake Grove maintains the, the CO over that particular plant. And I think they are, uh, from my discussions with the chairman of the planning board and the mayor of the village, was they feel very strongly that that sewage treatment plant cannot handle whatever capacity it is in there. And I think the Simon, and they signed an agreement with, uh, we have an agreement in the file, uh, with the village of Lake Grove that they would take care of any sewage treatment plant, and they admitted that there was problems. So what I'm saying is, is that I have no problem in improving the Bahama breeze from the town's point, but that does not mean that we're negating that they have to get approval from the village. But they don't get come in under the board health. But that's no. the thing, and this is. This what, is wait, what's the question here? The I'm question is, I'm sorry. The question is, should the town board impose a condition on a site plan that says you have to get village of Lake Grove approval? Absolutely not. And I say, okay. and I say, okay. the law doesn't support that. Okay. What it, and we are always worked in cooperation with all surrounding municipalities. It seems to me to do that is, is something that you don't want to get involved in doing. And I wasn't here when it happened. If it happened prior to my tenure here, I would never have recommended it. I also think what you have to be mindful of is the village of Lake Grove issues a building permit. So if they're going to expand the plant, the village of Lake Grove oversees that. The applicant and Simon have to satisfy the village of Lake Grove if they're going to get a building permit. They're and going to Suffolk expand County the plant Board of Health. And the Suffolk County Board of Health. So Correct. Who's a 10 ton monster? So we are just saying, as far as the town of Smithtown is concerned, mm -hmm. your site plan is acceptable, the site plan is going to be approved, but you know you have other responsibilities. But don't, I don't think we should put that, which again is an obvious uh, condition, into the site plan that you have to get a village of Lake Grove approved. Okay. It just uh, sets a bad. If you don't put it in as a condition, 
and the town board approves the site plan. Obviously, Simon, is that the company, Simon? Yes. Has to get permission from the village to enter into their sewage treatment plan. Well, even more, the Suffolk County Board of Health. So isn't the ball in the in Lake, Vill the Lake Rose what? court? We had done, and I think this is a question of both etiquette, of political etiquette and, and policy, is we have worked with the village in the past. They originally turned down the request for the Cheesecake Factory and the restaurants that are located in the town of Smithtown. We worked with the village to get those approval, and they reversed themselves. How, we quick, the they, how quick would they have been approved if they were on the village side? Just curious. Well, the next day. Look, yeah, hello. what I'm saying is... <laughs> Come on, let's be real here. <laughs> look, this is your... I'm advising you. This is your decision, but I think what we have done before in the past is work with the village. We will have other changes that will be done in the mall. I mean, you know, we look forward to working together. It's a joint site, and it's their sewage treatment. It's our... It's, uh, we're the ones that are putting the restaurant on our side. I think it is a mutual site of uh, one that we would work together on because the mall is split between us. There's nothing that says that there's a Smithtown portion and a village portion. It's a split site. So I believe that, you know, for that it is prudent or not necessarily prudent, that it is um, uh, something that the town has done in the past that we should work together with the village of Lake Grove. I think if we're going to uh, approve things and then let them go off on their own, I think we're going to create problems in the future. Okay, I'm still not, you gotta forgive me here. Okay. <coughs> if you put, if you don't put the condition on, which the town attorney is recommending you don't do, that means the site plan has been approved by the Smithtown Town Board. That's correct. The restaurant company, or Simon, has to get over a large hump. They have to get approval from Lake Grove to and Suffolk, and, and Suffolk County to get into their sewage treatment plan. So I don't, you haven't made the point for me why it's deleterious to put and the other that thing in. I, might advise, I don't think if you or any of the board members have gotten any correspondence from the village of the mayor of the village of Lake Grove. Just got it today. But it just doesn't mean, again, I think you're unnecessarily complicating the process as far as the town is concerned. So, but let him answer. If So if you don't put the condition in that they need approval, town board adopts that plan, they still have to go and get approval from the village, correct? That's correct, yes. So then why are we getting involved? Because, well. You mean you want to show them good faith? Is that yes. Okay. Our law doesn't say show good faith, though. Our law is our law. But we have done this, what I'm getting at is that in the past, when we did uh, the, the expansion that we, d we did with the Cheesecake Factory and, and uh, California Pizza and all of those, the original approval from the village was a denial. We worked with the village, and Simon worked with the village, to correct all the sewage problems that they had, and then they signed off, and we got the Cheesecake Factory and all the other improvements that we did. I don't think, I think that was a very cooperative and workable solution that we had in the past. I think by telling the village we're no longer involved in their sewage treatment, I'm going to have problems with future changes to our side of the mall, because the village is going to probably uh, feel that they're, we're not working with them anymore. Well, I, Frank, I agree with you. The last sentence of the letter from the mayor, please consider my request that any new development at the Smith Haven Mall be approved by both municipalities before any work commence on any such project, which would lead me to believe that our destiny <laughs> lies in their hands if they don't want something developed on the Smithtown side so we can get the tax rateables and create construction jobs and jobs in that facility. They simply say, we don't like it, and ergo doesn't get developed, or the developer is stalled out so long he walks. I don't think that's fair for the village to impose that on Smithtown. I just don't. Well, well, and I say that only because, as Mr. Zolo said, their protections are site plans approved for, in this case, Bahama Breeze. They now, Simon and the Bahama Breeze applicant, has to go before the Suffolk County Board of Health and the village. And if the Suffolk County Board of Health says no, there is the capacity, and it will work well. 
Well, then it's up to the village of Lake Grove to say, well, we disagree with the Board of Health. I mean, that's their that's, And that's the other their thing problem. is, again, there's, there's no legal requirement to do that, but if the village of Lake Grove feels so outraged the town is going to do something that's pretty much routine, um, they have the remedy of going to court, getting a restraining law if they feel it's going to affect them, or going <coughs> down the line if they want to do something. Um, but, John, that's not the issue. The issue that Frank is raising is that if the town board is going to approve the site plan, that we make a condition that they have to have approval of Lake Grove Village Board. It's it, but it's already there. They have to. Okay, so my question is, how, if you do that, it doesn't make the process any different, Frank. They still have to go get it. Well, what the difference is, is that way, the way we have approached the Smith Haven Mall since the day it was built has been a joint review by both villages. When they put, decided to put on their additions onto Macy's and all the improvements to the food court that was done on their sites, we reviewed those site plans and we also passed on those site plans. So we have reviewed them, you know, what's going on, a joint review on that particular process. We've always treated this uh, mall as a joint review because it's split between the two jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. If we're going to split them and say we're going to go off on our own and improve ours, which is a policy decision of the board, and yes, you could do that. Okay, I feel that this is separating us from future approvals, and I think what we're it's going to jeopardize, you know, the working relationship we've had with the village in the past. We were able to convince the village to, or work with the village, and getting the other improvements done that they originally did not want to do. And we got some very big development out of it. I think what the village is upset about is that nobody checked with them beforehand, which we asked the applicant to do, uh, to make sure you had sewage treatment approval before you submit your application. And they didn't do that. There's a letter here to the Lake Grim from Simon emphasizing what they will do for the village. Yeah, that's, that's the old one. Yeah, that's October 3rd, 2005. Yeah. So you asked give them all kinds of things. Well, yes, because they were there were problems with regard to the sewage treatment facility at the time, and they had to commit to like $600,000 worth of improvements. Once they committed, we got a resolution from the village of Lake Grove, and we, we passed on the improvements that we have now. I understand what you're saying, Mr. Supervisor, which is basically if we say nothing, they still have to get approval from the yes. village of Lake right. Grove. Right. That's basically it. And right. if that's what the town board wants, fine, well, then we're going to do it that way. That's not my recommendation. My recommendation is to go for the joint review. And I feel we've done that before in the past. And we have other centers, like the shopping center in, in, uh, in Comac, which is split between the town of Huntington and us, which we do joint reviews on, which means that both municipalities sign off on this on, uh, simultaneously on these particular on sites. On the site plan. On the site plans, yes. And Did that's, I even sign off on those box stores? They sued us twice in court. No, they but that's in to the town. That whole piece no, of I agree with you on that, but that's entirely within well, the town. Well, if, if we were going to make nice with Huntington, we wouldn't have the tax rateables coming in from that entire property. No, no. Those, what I'm talking about is sites that are split between the, the towns and the shopping center I'm talking about is the one over on Jericho Turnpike that's split between the town where Comac Road is. Comac Road, that shopping center is half in the town of Smithtown, half in the town of Huntington. When we have a situation like that, that's a joint review. When it comes down to what's down on Crooked Hill Road, that's 100% in the town of Smithtown, that's our jurisdiction. And I have no problem with that. And I agree with you that that was incredibly silly with regard to the lawsuits that are there. I agree. But what I look at the other side of town is we have the village of Lake Grove. We've worked very well with them in the past. And in the, what the, uh, I think, in my own judgment, to have a cooperative working relationship with another municipality on a very large site that we have is uh, uh, desirable. I don't and understand why Town of Smithtown, Village of Lake Grove, why are we getting involved in Board of Health's job? We shouldn't be in the wastewater management business. TDRs, any of that stuff. That's Suffolk County Board of Health. So all we're doing is creating another layer of government to stall business off in the if, town. If the capacity is approved by the Board of Health, maybe I'm wrong, then what would be, if that's shown that we do have the capacity and Simon Properties is going to, of course, abide by that County Board of Health uh, requirement, what would the village, what would be their objection then? What, what else is there? 
No, well, we have to watch. We don't want right to run the line. I don't know. But I'm, let I'm me. I think that. you're right. I think. I think. I don't know what the objection will be, but Town yeah, Smithtown yeah. puts the uh, condition that they need approval from the village of Lake Grove. Okay. And it's so notified everybody. We're all copacetic here. What happens if the village says no? That's the point. It's their sewage treatment plant. And they can say no. Yes, it's that's correct. No, with or without sewage. our condition. They have the CEO on the building. And if they decide that that particular plant is not operating to their capacity, just like if the plant was on the town wait, of Smithtown wait, side. John, let's stay with my question. The condition goes on. Mm -hmm. And the site plan approval is pending. Village of Lake Grove says, no, we do not want the hookup. Correct. It's over. Unless you find another hookup. Unless they do. Yes, unless Simon does. So I'm not so not sure well. why the condition is so important. If they got the right of refusal to begin with. It's a, it's a question, uh, and again, it's not necessary. It's what I agree with you. Mr. Oh, it's not necessary. necessary. It's You're not saying it's a matter of courtesy. That's correct. I don't see where town law it says courtesy. As yes, I understand, John, you, you said you would it. not, if you had been here in the past, gone along with yeah. I mean, while I like and I recognize the need to cooperate with surrounding municipalities, I don't think you want to get involved in putting that on um, something that is completely autonomous to the town of Smithtown. I don't think you want to put that on there because today it's a side plan issue. You need to build approval of Village of Lake Grove. Going forward, it could be something else that has a little more significance. You're setting a bad precedent. Again, the applicant, the risk falls to the applicant. It's their responsibility to get these approvals to hook up to the sewage treatment plant, expand the sewage treatment plant. And if, if, as Frank said, he informed that they should <coughs> deal with the village of Lake Grove, if they haven't done that, that's their risk and that's their responsibility. And I think there was a Board of Zone Appeals application heard in this case, I believe, and the village of Lake Grove has had an opportunity to deal with issues that would affect them, such as parking or those type of things. Did they appear at that? Not that I'm aware of. Yes, they did. Oh, did they? Yes, they did. The mayor so I, I think, Eddie, to your point, he's saying it's just a matter of courtesy because ultimately they have to say whether the hookup is made or not made up. I well, think we depend on the Suffolk County Board of Health to make that decision, not a okay. village of Lake Grove. The other you know? thing to keep in mind is this is, a, you know, you look at the Smith Haven Mall. It's the building itself physically is split, half between the town of Smithtown, half between the village of Lake Grove. This is not the last development that is going to occur there. I mean, in, in terms of how we work with the village should be a long-term arrangement. And if, in my judgment, if we're, or we're saying every man for himself on this particular site is not the best approach towards working with another municipality. And if, if we're gonna come up with those sewage treatment issues, I'd like to at least have a record, I personally, as a planner, this is, I recognize the board may disagree with me, but I'd like to at least have a, uh, a track record where we work with the village on these things rather than just say, well, no, it's in ours, we'll take care of ours and you take care of yours. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it, it, you know, you say it's courtesy, yeah, I think it, it is that, Mr. Uh, uh, Bob, that I think that when you are working cooperatively with another municipality, why get them upset? When it comes to Huntington and the Walmart and other things, I think they were way off base on that particular one, telling the town of Smithtown what they can do in terms of that particular site. It was but, our decision. But we, we are really not sort of telling them this is the way it's going to be. We say we've taken care of our side of it. The rest is in your hands. Yes. That's all. Don't, doesn't Lake Grove receive tax rateables on their part of those buildings? Yes. And, and I'm finished after this. I would submit that if the town of Smithtown did not take the initiative to put $72 million into that mall, that today Lake Grove would be deficient in those entire tax rateables because that mall would have been boarded up like years ago in Huntington 110. No one was going there. It was, it was a boarded up standalone Stearns. There were all five and 10 cent type businesses going in. I submit, and I'm, I don't build malls, probably would have went out of business. So Lake Grove, we are, we are in a, a spirit of cooperation with them. That's all just that I don't particularly care for projects being held up based on whether or not they're going to give us the approval or not on our end, because then the, the applicant that comes in decides, look, I'm not going to wait any longer, and then they leave. And but, then we then, but they're not giving the approval to us. 
they're giving the approval to the developer. To the developer, right. And Frank and Bob hit it. It's a courteous, a matter of courtesy. It doesn't affect it one way or the other. How long does that process take? If we were to say, okay, let's put it on and then go through the, the village. And well, the what I was basically going to, because uh, uh, it appeared I wanted this done before we got the site plan approval. But at this particular juncture, since I'm willing to sign off on the site plan with saying going to the village and just putting the matter entirely within their hands uh, and not uh, just saying, okay, it's now it's your question. That's basically what I wanted to say. Okay. That's how I wanted to approach it. I wanted to settle this before the site plans uh, things, but it appears we're too far along in the process at this point. But I, I still believe the village it, it should have a say so in it, and we should work with them on this particular matter. I think because we're going to have other changes at the mall, and I think we're going to. Uh, but they have to say so regardless, yeah. Frank. They have to well, say so regardless. Well, I think what they're uh, are thinking that we're going to approve this, and uh, they're going to be in a battle with uh, them. Uh, with Simon. With Simon, yeah. You know, but courtesy is a very important thing. But what we're essentially doing is adding another layer in here well, with in fact, is what we're us going along yeah. and saying to them, we're going to give you all you want, and you then take it from there. That just adds another layer into everything. We shouldn't do it. I don't think we should do it. We should be courteous. We yeah. are courteous. Okay. We have done what we're supposed to do. And we should not add another step in. Realistically, what they're doing, it's creating a stalling factor. So, and that's what it's doing. Let's just call it what really what it is. And they it also want us sets to stall a it. They don't want to stall it. They want us to stall it. I'm not willing to stall it. You bring me it today, I'm signing it. Because that's what's proper. It meets all our criteria. It's going to our BZA. And now let the Suffolk County but Board of Health make the, let me finish, make the decision that it meets the, the, the sewage treatment, meets it or doesn't meet it. Like I said before, the town, the villages, none of us should be involved in this Suffolk County Board of Health. Like I said, there's a 10 ton gorilla out there. They monitor it pretty well. Let them do their job, and the towns and the villages just stay out of Suffolk County Board of Health's jurisdiction. But it doesn't stall anything. The if we don't sign it, it does. It goes nowhere. You no, know, he says we'll approve the site plan with a condition, condition which they need anyway. Yes. The question is, is whether you want to put the condition on it. They need it anyway. They need the approval to, do, to build out. My, if if there's a question with regard to the condition, it's one of uh, I, I feel it's it's an appearance of good faith. Uh, uh, Mr. Bob, the, one of the things I disagree with you on is in terms of the layers. Is is if this site was entirely physically within the town of Smithtown, if the Smith Haven Mall was entirely, then it's our call, the town's call. This is a site which is split between two jurisdictions. Have been that's why it's called Smith Haven, Smithtown, and Brookhaven. That's why it's called the Smith Haven, in which we've always exercise joint review over this particular site. It's a unique item, you know, in terms of this. We have a shopping center that's located where the Circuit City used to be, that one's closed. That's entirely within the town of Smithtown. We don't, re we uh, give notification to the village of Lake Grove. We take care of whatever happens in that. They have a shopping center where the Toys R Us are. That's entirely within their jurisdiction. They send us notification. We don't do anything with regard to that. The Smith Haven Mall, however, sits in between both jurisdictions. And a joint review has always been there. I've given council an article from uh, New York Zoning Law and Practice on, um, on sites that are split and between two jurisdictions. And while there are legal issues that support what John has said, and I'm not disagreeing with John, it also says in there, there's a paragraph, that when you have a split site, it is recommended that you do a joint review. But we're not even really talking about joint review because our review is completed. The town board can approve the site plan. The question is whether you put a condition on the site plan that says you have to obtain village of Lake Grove approvals. That's the condition. And the, the, the response to that is they have to do it anyway, whether you put the condition on or not. The review for the town purpose is, is complete, right, Frank? Once a site plan signed, our review is complete. Yes. And they're not getting a building permit from our building department until it says Suffolk County Board of Health's on there. Correct. I mean, so, I mean, what are we talking about here? 
There's no reason to put anything on it. But you can look at it. Again. And there's no reason not to put it on. But, but you can look at it for both sides. It is, yeah. it, it's, it's of no consequence it's because no you're consequence. telling me you have to do what's obvious. It's like when we put in agreements that you must comply with all ap applicable provisions of a town code and town law. They have to do it anyhow. You put it in there so they, if they say I didn't know, then you can say no, it's in the agreement. But doing it or not doing it doesn't make it any slower or any faster. They still need the That's how I see it, yeah. But um, I just okay, think okay. So it's a town board a, decision when you make it. You it's make really it. about setting a precedent going forward. That's what it's about, I think. But they have a right. Oh, how many? What's the feet? A forty thousand feet now? <coughs> what's a thousand feet? But the site is split, so the, uh, oh, it's because it's a split site, not the yeah. thousand feet. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Next matter. Oh, just Mr. Supervisor. Yeah. Um, members of the board, there is on the agenda today is on public hearing number three. It's the town board to consider the amendment to yeah. 322 yeah. for special exception uses. That's the end of the <coughs> station. Um, just briefly, the, the board knows there's um, litigation going on, and we're going to move the table. I was going to make okay. a recommendation okay. that the board move the table. That all right? Okay. Okay. Just um, sounds good. Go ahead. Next, we got. Um, I think we got three litigation matters here. The litigation matter that I'm aware of right now is um, the Jody Carding case. And the one of um, Emma and Michael Cox? Correct. Okay. And um, um, Canoes. Canoes is the other one. And I, uh, I don't know if it's, um, okay, I'm okay with it. So then I'll move to go to executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye